Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at how to program a sorting station, Click PLC. The sorting station box selection, or camera management and distribution, is just one of many machines in the Easy PLC Machine Simulator, or MS. This sorting station will read barcodes from the boxes and send them to different exit ramps. The Click programming software will be used to program this Click Plus PLC. Modbus TCP Ethernet will connect the Click to the Easy PLC simulator. Discrete inputs, outputs, and registers will be controlled from the Easy PLC simulator or client to the Click PLC server. Using the five steps for programming development, we will show you how the sorting station is programmed. Let's get started. Detailed information contained in the video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start you at video 1. There will be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. Step 1. To find the task. Start the Easy PLC Machine Simulator software. Select the Start button on the main screen, or select Machines from the main menu. All sample programs you can practice your PLC program will be listed. Click on the 03 Box Selection Machine. There is a written version of the sequence on the left hand side of the machine. Camera management and distribution, box selection sorting station, will use photos and cameras. These are located in each selection section and will read the barcodes of the boxes. The box will be sent down the corresponding exit ramp. Box ID 1 will be sent to the first exit, ID 2 to the second exit, and ID 3 to the third exit. The number of boxes sent down each exit will be displayed on the control panel. The machine simulator has a demo mode for this built-in machines. Select the demo mode. This will allow you to watch the operation of the box sorting station. This will help you see what has to be done. Move around the 3D environment. The icons on the top of the window will allow you to move around this 3D environment. The first icon is the default selection. This will enable you to move around without bumping into the components. The first person will mimic a person in your 3D learning world. The third person will show you the operator's relationship to the machine. The last icon will automatically move you around this virtual environment. Once we have an understanding of what must be done, we can move on to the next step in our PLC program development. Step 2. To find the inputs and outputs. While still in the demo mode of the machine simulator, we can select the view I.O. at the bottom menu. This will show you the digital outputs on the left hand side of the screen and the digital inputs on the right hand side of the screen. We can watch how the I.O. relates to the demo program. Select the exit button and stop the demo mode of the machine simulator. Start the box selection sorting station in start mode. Select the view I.O. to display the inputs and outputs required for this machine. Select the analog inputs and outputs to view them. The Easy PLC Sorting Box Station Machine Simulator will require 10 digital outputs and 15 digital inputs. It will also require 3 analog in and out. The analog outputs are for the exit ramp counts. Analog inputs for each camera on the exit ramps to read the barcode on the box. Click the digital outputs to activate it. You can move around in the 3D environment and see the I.O. and items from different angles. The machine simulator will communicate to the Click PLC. Communication will be done with Modbus. 
We can look at the address picker using the Click PLC software to determine the Modbus address we require for the program. Step three, develop a logical sequence of operation. A flowchart or sequence table is used to understand the process that needs to be controlled thoroughly. We must also answer questions like the following. What happens when electrical power or pneumatic air is lost? What happens when inputs and outputs fail? Do we need redundancy? This step is where you can save yourself a lot of work by understanding everything about the operation. It will help you from continuously rewriting the PLC program logic. Knowing all these answers up front is vital in the development of the PLC program. The control panel of the Easy PLC Box Selection Sorting Station program will show the operator information. If the gate is open, the red light will flash. In the stop mode, the green LED will be on, indicating this is how to start the line. When the line runs, the red LED will tell you how to stop the machine. An emergency stop will turn off all of the LEDs. The exit conveyor count will show how many boxes have been diverted to it. When the machine stops, the box counters are greater than zero, the reset LED will be on. Pressing the reset will reset the counts and turn off the LED. Our easy box sorting station can be seen as three independent exit conveyor operations. A box will pass and the camera and photo will read the barcode. If the barcode is for this conveyor, the arm will activate, diverting the box. When the exit photo is on, this will reset the arm. A programmer must know everything about the sequence and operation of the machine before programming. Ask questions or view existing documentation to ensure you know the logical steps to the machine's operation. Step four, develop the PLC program. Writing the ladder logic code for a Click PLC sorting station example will be the next step in our program development. We will use the Click PLC programming software and a Click Plus PLC. Detailed information on the Click PLC can be found in our Click PLC series. Our program will be written in ladder logic or ladder diagram. The first rungs of code will set the conveyor belts running for our box selection program. This is done when the, with the set and reset instructions. The conveyor reset will happen when a stop, machine door, or emergency button is selected. The start light will be on when the machine is ready. The stop light will be on when the machine is running. A flashing stop light will indicate that the door is open to the machine. The reset button will be lit when the machine is stopped and any exit conveyor having a greater than zero count. The reset button will reset the counts for each exit conveyor for the box selection program. Exit one conveyor. If the conveyors are running and the camera is turned on, the result is compared to the exit number when the camera end is seen. If this matches, then set the selection arm for the exit. Once the photo cell on the exit is seen, reset the arm selection and increment the exit count by one for our box selection. Exit two conveyor. If the conveyors are running and the camera is turned on, the result is compared to the exit number when the camera end is seen. If this matches, then set the selection arm for the exit. Once the photo cell on the exit is seen, reset the selection arm and increment the exit count by one for our box selection. Exit three conveyor. If the conveyors are running and, and the camera is turned on, the result is compared to the exit number when the camera is seen. If this matches, then set the selection arm for the exit. Once the photo cell and the exit is seen, reset the selection arm and increment the exit count by one for our box selection. This is our complete program. We will communicate to the Easy PLC machine simulator using Modbus TCP by Ethernet or wireless. The ports will be set up with a fixed IP address so our machine simulator or Modbus client can find the Modbus server. Select Modbus TCP from the communication port on the function tab of the navigation window. You can also use the main menu, setup, com port. 
the COM port setup window will now be displayed. Click on the setup button for port 1. You can now set the static IP address on the COM port setup details window. Set Modbus TCP setup from the main menu, setup. Ensure the enable Modbus TCP server is checked for our port. Save and transfer the sorting station program to the Click Plus PLC. Ensure that the PLC is in run mode. Select status to see the active status of the inputs and outputs on the ladder logic. Step 5. Test the program. We will communicate Modbus TCP on our Click Plus PLC to communicate with the machine simulator. Call up the O3 box selection in start mode. The status of the machine simulator will be at the bottom of the screen. Currently we have no PLC connected. Select I.O. on the bottom middle of the screen. The Easy PLC driver window will now be displayed. This will show you the machine simulator I.O. number. Ensure you have enough digital and analog numbers for our Click PLC sorting station. If not, change the values and select the Update I.O. number button. Under the driver name, pull down menu, select Modbus driver. This driver will communicate Modbus TCP, Ethernet, and Modbus RTU serial. Select the Configure button. We can now enter the information for our Modbus driver. Select TCP IP. This means the computer's Ethernet port will communicate to the PLC. The digital inputs from MS to the Click PLC will start at C101. This will start at address 16484 due to the offset of 1. Digital outputs from MS to the Click PLC will start at C201. This will begin at address 16584 due to the offset of 1. Analog inputs, DS1 will start at address 0, and address DS101 will begin at address 100. This is due to the offset of 1. The address picker in the Click programming software will help determine the Modbus address. The analog scale value is 1. This is used to divide and multiply so that the Modbus analog value can be read and written within the simulator. The analog subtract factor is 0. This is used with the analog to obtain negative values within the Modbus analog registers. Select the OK button. You can now see the inputs and outputs specified for the Modbus driver. We can now manually assign the driver outputs to the PLC inputs and the driver inputs to the PLC outputs. However, an automatic assignment will do this if the I.O. is in the same order in the PLC and Easy PLC machine simulator. Select Automatic Assignment from the Driver option in the main menu. This will automatically assign the PLC I.O. to the Machine Simulator I.O. Select Start Driver and Exit from the main menu under Exit. You will see that the driver is operating on the bottom left side of the window. Select View I.O. to know the input and output status of the Machine Simulator. Move around to the Control Panel. Ensure that the PLC is in run mode. We can now operate the machine simulator through the control panel. Run and monitor to ensure that your program works as expected. Using the data view window of the Click programming software, we can also watch the inputs and outputs operate. Using machine simulator MS to test the program will ensure that our program works. Troubleshooting is easily done without damage to any physical hardware. The machine simulator has a time frame that you can speed up or slow down the process to help you troubleshoot. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. 
If you want more information about us or you want our free ebooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button to get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Stay safe.